Sabotage of Us. This is gonna be the weirdest video that I think I've ever filmed. What have you, are, what are you talking me in? What are we doing? We're gonna we're gonna eat these snails. So okay, the way that the the way this started was Gage contacted me. This is Gage. Gage Gage is awesome. Uh, Gage contacted me. He's like, I got I've got snails. Do you want to eat some snails? I can bring everything you want, everything you need to cook some snails. Do you want to eat them? I'm like, yeah, sure, we'll eat some snails. And he was like, Are we gonna make it spicy? And I'm like, Well, we are now. So. I have had these three different like spice rubs, just kind of like chilling in my back, in my, back there for a while, just waiting for a home because I didn't really know how I was going to use them. Uh, um, they're just, I, I'm not gonna like, eat like a, a spoonful of like spicy rub. So it was waiting for a vehicle, and apparently the vehicle is snails. As if they weren't bad enough already. So I mean, dude, I've had snails before, and they're pretty good. They just sound. I, I mean, I've never had them. They're, I've had them. I have had they're them. Like seafood or. Dude, it's kind of like a, it's like a chewy chicken, kind of. Uh, but I think I think they're actually pretty good. These I've never had snails out of a can though. Oh, well, I think you just gotta get that plastic. Oh, there's. Yeah, that's. Uh, I got it. Got it. So, anyways, Gage brought. There's like deconstruction that needs to happen here. And these are like a year old, by the way. A year. The shelf life on I googled it, and the shelf life is three years. You you googled it. We are going. So he you looked up exactly how to cook snails, no. which is not it's the way the that can. we're going. It's on the can. The can the tells you. Okay. Uh, we have to make a butter sauce. Blend six, six tablespoons of butter, one finely chopped garlic clove, Ooh. a teaspoon of finely chopped shallots. That's crucial. I uh, parsley, that. salt, and pepper to taste. We don't have salt and pepper. Worry. We got we got that. Uh, <laughs> Uh, a dash of brandy or port could be good too. We don't have any of these things, but we do have butter, and we're going to saute these things in butter, and then we are going to add said spices to them, and yeah. we're going to try them. This will make is, up for all the flavoring. This is going to be the weirdest seasons. thing in the entire world. I feel like I should start melting some butter. Oh, it smells so bad. Does it? <laughs> it smells awful, oh, dude. So gross. It smells awful. All right, well, I'm gonna get a couple tablespoons of butter going in here. So we only need six snails total. Dude, my grandma go. would be ashamed of it. It's a lot of butter. We're making a, a big butter sauce here. Let's, let's turn that guy down a little, little bit. Hot. Okay. I don't know how this thing is supposed to... Just make it work, man. You can do it. I have faith that you can make a can opener go. All we gotta do is get him out. Get him out. There's a lot of legwork in making this happen. This is not just a open something up and eat it. I've never cooked in on my set in here before. It smells like like something that you just like water when it sits for a really long time, like sewage. It smells like sewage. It smells mm -hmm. like sewage. Good. Good. You want to do like a shot of the brine? Nope. All right. Place in there. Let those soften up a little bit. It kind of smells like the earth. Smell like the earth. They kind of smell like the earth. It's not as bad, you know. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I am crying. All right, we're starting to brown over here, so we should probably. All right, grab. We'll we'll cut each snail in half. Okay. So grab three snails. Okay. And put and toss them in here. Try to get as much of that off. Cause we're supposed to drain these, I know. I would try to get the smaller ones. <clears throat> I get legit ones, man. Get legit. Right, We're not messing around. Here's a big fatty right here. Giant snails is what they're, they're literally, that's what it's called. On the can. Roland Escargot's Giant Snails. Serving size is half a cup of them. 50 calories for half a cup. The, uh, the three seasonings that we have today, Spice 10. Um, let's see here. This is from K. John's Fiery Foods in Westerville, Ohio. And this is their uh, ghost pepper seasoning. It's made with black pepper, garlic, uh, chili caribe. I don't know what that is. Habanero chilies, boot jalokia, which is a ghost pepper, cayenne chilies, and vegetable powder. And then we have Magic Plant Company in Johnson City, Tennessee. 
Just like the famous salt flavor, sriracha is now offered as a powder. Magic plant sriracha dust is made of fresh harvested red chilies, complemented with bold garlic, combined with dashes of vinegar, salt, and sugar to perfectly balance our sriracha powder blend. Our spicy sriracha dust seasoning brings the traditional sriracha flavor to any of your spicy foods. So this is, they're saying this is just like sriracha, which they're saying, this has got Maruga scorpions on it though, so in it, so we'll see. And then finally we have habanero seasoning from hell. <clears throat> and this is from, yeah, so this is from the Southwest Specialty Foods Group. And this one, see the ingredients, chili peppers, onion, garlic, spices, habanero peppers. So we got habanero, we got scorpion pepper, and we have ghost pepper here. So we will see, man. This is gnarly. Yeah, they look, they look gross. I'm trying to like trick myself. At what point do you think they're cooked through? They're popping. I feel way more unprepared now because it's been a while since I've had them. They are served just like a like an escort escargot dish, and so it almost looks like an egg container where it comes out and there's like a little hole and each like snail goes in it, mm -hmm. and then it's like served in the butter sauce basically. So it's like and it's good. And it, yeah, it was good. Ah, I just got hit by butter. Kind of, kind of cook them pretty good through. What do you think? Uh, yeah, considering they're probably expired. You think they're expired, man? <laughs> I don't know. I was already on the way here. I wasn't gonna say anything. I wasn't gonna say anything. Are they done or are we Dude, doing... I think they're done and honestly I'm a little excited to to go into this. I'm I'm least excited about the seasoning because last time it was terrible. What? And I told you I'd never do it again. But here you are. <laughs> here you are. Okay. So let's take these off. Put them right here in my cutting board. Okay. All right. So where do you want to start on this on the seasoning? Which one do you think is the least spiciest? Um, I think this is the least spiciest. You think this is the least spiciest? Yeah, okay. It's habanero. And what's the next? And then I think it's in the order that it's in. I think so this is next. This, and this then is next. next. Okay, that's the order we're going in. All right. Okay. So number one, I'm gonna get pretty liberal. What the that. dude? Oh, where's my tongs? Okay, I'm gonna flip it over. That's so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought you were gonna like. They look like mushrooms. They look like honestly. mushrooms. And I love mushrooms, so I think we're good. Okay. I'm gonna take this side. All right. I have to go first. We're gonna cheers and then go for it, man. All right, so we have. And this is habanero seasoning from hell. Cheers. It just made the squishiest noise. Dude, that is, that is slamming. That is good. That is like, that is good. Okay, it's not that good, but it's better than I thought it would be. It's, it's edible. It's edible, I'll, yeah. I'll say it's edible. Only because of this. It didn't really, ooh. <clears throat> I got some heat. I got a little. A little bit of heat. Like the way it hit me, it hit me like right in the back of the top Did of the throat. Did you like swallow without like Oh, I, I chewed it, but. I, I didn't let it like get around my mouth enough, I don't think. Oh, now that it's in my throat though, it's like You feel that in the back of your throat? Out. Oh. I will say it was not as gnarly as I thought it was gonna be. Okay. Whew. Moving on. All right, so this is Maru Maruga Scorpion Chili Sriracha by the Magic Plant Company. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, that's got like big chunks in it. That is. Hotter than a Carolina Reaper. What? Oh uh, yeah, can be, hot can be hotter than a Carolina Reaper. I have eaten a scorpion pepper fresh, and it was a uh, horrible. What was the one that was like peach colored? That's Jay's peach ghost scorpion, which is <laughs> that looked the hottest, that looked still horrible, <laughs> the hottest thing I've ever eaten in my life. Dude, I felt bad for you. It was horrible, dude. It is so gross looking. I think. It's right there. I want to know where it is. It's right there. Okay, let me make sure I get an extra little bit of seasoning too. You know, what, dude, I gotta Grab go. All, I gotta go all out too. Okay. Oh, that's a lot. Yep, so this is the uh, Maruga Scorpion Chili Sriracha. Jeez. I'm nervous about this one, man. Do it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, it's awful. <laughs> that was awful tasting. Oh my god. It's like still in my throat. It's like just 
in the back of my throat, just existing there. It's like stuck to the back it of my throat. Right throw, it tastes like cheesy. Yes. That's not good. <laughs> that shouldn't. It should not taste cheesy. You're right. Woo! Okay. Oh, I, I finally got it down. That was <coughs> gnarly. Okay. That didn't, I, I got almost no heat from that at all. It initially started to burn. It did, but it, it, it dissipated super fast. Like nothing's ever going to touch that chip that I ate. Well, and clearly. Like, that was so that was, different. Yeah. That was different. That was like I felt different from that. Yeah. That thing is insane. Yeah. Okay. Moving on to the third and final. I actually think this one can actually pack a little bit of a heat. I think this one's going to be pretty hot. Okay. So this is uh, from K. John's Fiery Foods. This is the Jalokia Ghost Pepper Seasoning. Let me see the ordinary ingredients in here. So the number one, so black pepper, garlic, chili crabe, habanero. Actually, I mean, the ghost pepper is pretty low on the list here, so it might not be like as nar nar. You know what, I'm gonna, since this is the last one, we gotta get a little extra going on here. I need to make sure that the whole thing is how to. Flavor wise, do you think this one's gonna be the worst tasting too? Oh, it's gonna be a lot of pepper, I'll tell you that. A lot of black pepper. Do you like pepper? I like black pepper. Okay, well, there's a lot of black pepper on this. Like, peppers, black pepper is the number one ingredient, so you can see, like, how much black pepper I just did. I basically just peppered the crap out of I'm this. I'm sure thing. that doesn't help with other stuff. Either. Nope. All right, I'm going to go. Which one? All right, you pick which one you want. I, I, you Grab one, man. I like Gage. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right, hopefully I can I don't, almost throw up again like I did on the last <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Cheers. Cheers. That one was definitely the best tasting one. It was. It was definitely, it's got the most kick to it as well. Slowly building. Slowly building. There we go. That's pretty hot. Yeah, it feels, it's like nice though. I'm like afraid to see how far it's gonna go. It's hot. It's not like oh, it keeps coming. It keeps coming. It's not like overwhelmingly hot, it but it's got a nice like slow burn to it. Definitely where that that ghost pepper kicks in. <clears throat> okay. Overall, how did you did you th how how were the how were your first snails? Did you like them? They were better than I thought they'd be, and they came out of a can. Uh, Those they were like nine bucks. They were worse than I thought they were gonna be. It, it smells like really bad outside. The whole place smells. It smells like you are living inside like a rhinoceros intestine. That's what it smells like. <laughs> to me, it was actually worse than I thought it was going to be. Like, really? I, I I don't think those snails have any redeeming qualities when it came to flavor. The last one was probably the best. That freaking goat that, this is that good. ghost pepper one is good That'd and it's still like, lingering. Right. Man, that is pretty hot. Um on ribs. Uh, be good on ribs. That would be good on ribs. Yeah. Uh, or on a steak. Oh, yeah. Um but anyways, uh the snails were terrible. They tasted really bad. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but thank you for bringing them. <laughs> uh, this one had a little bit of heat. Uh, really good flavor. Uh, this one um, had almost no heat for me, honestly. Yeah. And it had uh, some of those like, standard sriracha flavors. Now, I'm, I mean, I'm, gonna go, I'm, I'm not the biggest sriracha guy. It made me laugh for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, I, was kinda, I thought this was going to be the hottest one because it says Maruga Scorpion on the front of it. Um, and this one is the only one that kind of like really I mean, I can still feel that one lived up to exactly where I thought it was going to be. This one is basically just like a spicy pepper, basically to me. You know, like I just got black pepper built, backed up by a ton of heat. Yeah. Um, but it had, it had good flavor, good stuff. I would use that again. Yeah. Gage, thank you so much. Appreciate you guys for checking it out. And I'll see you guys on the next. Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there. And uh, you'll subscribe to my videos uh, from now on. I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going <laughs> to, oh man, it's going to be great. Bye.